Hello, welcome back to this Final Fantasy 13 Let's Play. I'm Matthew Marco with AdmiralMapping.com, and we're here in the forest, the Cyber Forest. Well, that went really poorly. Good God. Um, I can do this. Let's just quake everyone. Oh, I thought that would actually kill them, but I guess not. That helped a lot. So we're going to try to get through this woods today. But uh, since we're seemingly not in the middle of story stuff, let's talk. Let's go back to talking about Final Fantasy games. Uh, we talked about seven last time. Is this guy going to turn around? No. Um, so let's talk about Final Fantasy VIII. Uh, Final Fantasy VIII was, uh, the, the f I had already played 7 and beaten it, and I was very excited for 8. 8 was one of those games where, uh, the hype level was really high, like, exceedingly so, probably unreasonably so. I remember coverage in magazines, looking at it. I remember my initial reaction being, oh, the, the idea of a gunblade, that's really dumb. I don't know how I feel about all this weird feature stuff. Uh... Which kind of go on to define how everyone felt about Final Fantasy, but when the game came out, I was very excited and grabbed it. And uh, hilariously enough, this was the same day my PlayStation decided to stop reading memory cards. Uh, so I remember playing through the entire game in like a marathon session, unable to save, uh, trying desperately to get as far as I could without turning it off. And uh, when I got the uh, magic lamp to summon Diablos, I uh, did that. And that went about as well as you can expect, and uh, hours of progress were gone. Just another battle. But uh, eight to me is one of those games that I have uh, so many memories wrapped up in. Uh, I pretty unabashedly referred to it as my favorite Final Fantasy for years, and that might still be true. I haven't revisited in a long time. Uh, it hit it right at the right age for me. Like I was 13, 14, I guess, when that game came out and when I played it. And its love story, uh, while uh, ridiculous, probably, and full of uh, like problematic stuff at this point, really spoke to me as a teenager. I remember thinking that game was the most hopelessly romantic thing. Just so moved by Squall and Renoa's stuff, and all the things with Laguna and his lost loves and mishaps and adventures. Um, and so it's a game that, like, is my coming-of-age Final Fantasy, the same way that 7, I think, is for a lot of people, or maybe 6 is for people. Uh, I heard those ones refer to a lot as the games for people, but 7 wasn't that for me. I played it a little too young, I think. But 8 definitely was, and so I have so much wrapped up in it, and I have uh, I will revisit it someday, but I have not yet, and I'm a little afraid to at this point, to be honest, because of all those things that are wrapped up in it. I'm almost afraid of what I might find going back to that game uh, after all this time, but um, I do remember that when I finally did get around to playing it for real, when I got my memory card fixed, that uh, I've only ever played that game the wrong way uh, because I really like Triple Triad, and so I quickly got, uh, let's check out this weapon, I quickly got card mod on Quetzalcoatl, and after that I... Oh yeah, magic up. That's great. Um, after that, I just played triple triad and I kept making cards out of enemies, so I gained all this AP but never leveled up. And I kept doing this to the point where, you know, I was level 10 or whatever and I had a bunch of cool cards and I was still very, or like, I was hours and hours into the game. I just wouldn't level up. I'd just gain all this AP and have these great abilities. And I didn't discover till later that that is totally a way to break the game. Uh, like if you want to min-max, but I just did this naturally because I really liked, uh, I really liked Triple Triad, and I got far enough to get Brothers, and then Brothers has, uh, the Guardian Force Brothers has the Encounter None on it. I think that's who has it. Maybe it's Diablo, but I think it's, uh, Brothers. And I just played that game in, like, a low-level run, and it's the one game where that's not only like a thing that you can pretty do pretty easily, but it's almost the recommended way to play if you want to like do your really hardcore run. 
And ever since then, I've only ever played the game that way, so I don't really know how to play it the right way, where you draw magic as you go along, and uh, your enemies are, like, increasingly higher level and stuff like that. I always played the game where I was level 12 by the time I hit disc 4, uh, which is a nonsense way to play that game, but I think it just goes to illustrate how strange the way Final Fantasy VIII is set up is. I don't know, as an adult, if the battle system and the junctioning is a thing that I would like. Because it seems like it's so heavily menu-driven and fiddly and overly complicated, but... It was a perfect thing for a teenager with not a whole lot of uh, games and plenty of time on their hands. And I adored it. I, uh, I think in terms of a game in which every character can do every role well, like, it's kind of the perfect version of that. And it's, I know it's a thing people, like, accuse Final Fantasies of doing as a negative, but... In that game, it was very clear that you could make any character whatever you wanted, and it was just about... By removing stats from the characters innately, and making them literally blank slates, I think you got really great, uh... results out of that? Uh... Oh dear. Um... And it, I mean, it it really it removes a lot of the specialness of having very specific characters in your party. But it was also a game with only six characters, and it worked really well that way. Uh, and that battle system, because it was so fiddly, had so much uh, ability to customize in a way that I don't think Final Fantasy has had maybe before since Five has a lot of customization in a different way. To be fair, but. That game was really unique in the way that it did it. I can't think of another game that is so successful in that specific way. Uh, but again, I haven't revisited in years and years, like over a decade at this point. So I'm not sure if that's a game that is actually good or if I just remember being good. It's really hard to say. I hope that it's a game that's actually good. But I just don't know. Uh, sorry, I want to power up because this guy's going to definitely get off his special. Um, and so, where was I? Okay, I really liked all of the fiddly bits, even though that's a thing people don't like. And as one of the like original cyber future style games, like this is. Um, it very quickly gave you a very complicated battle system. It's kind of the opposite of how this game ends up going, because this game gives you a very fiddly battle system that takes forever to roll it out. That game just kind of threw you in and lets you figure it out. Mostly to its detriment, probably. I know that game was very divisive, and well, I think people have come around on it a lot. It probably rightly remains divisive, and it always will be, because of how just outright weird it is, and how complicated it is. It is, uh, not an inviting game, especially after 7, which is the most... I don't want to say, like, baby's first RPG, it's definitely not that, but... Uh, it makes 7 look incredibly easy. Yeah, I did really poorly there. Um... Yeah, for me, that game was its story and its world. I really liked Squall. I related to him as a disaffected teenager. I'm sorry, but I'll be quiet here. I wonder how the others are doing. Saz and Vanille? Who knows? Even if they got away, they'll get caught eventually. Then they'll have to choose, resist, or surrender. Surrender? Huh. Do you think he's still alive? You mean Snow? <sighs> he's too stubborn to die. And that's his best quality. He's arrogant and chummy from the get-go. He thinks he's everybody's pal. Never liked him much. He leads around a bunch of kids. Gang called Nora. 
Where'd they get the name Nora? It's a stupid acronym. Their little code stands for no obligations, rules, or authority. Must be nice. It's irresponsible. More Cyber Forest. Why aren't we done? Goodness. So let's uh, Crystarium up. Yeah, we've got enough points. Uh, so as I was saying, I really related to Squall, and I liked his... the... like, the world that he inhabited that was so... Uh, not off-putting, exactly, but it was a world in which... like, it felt very... It was very well realized in a way that you're clearly, you don't have a great picture of. Like, you're not discovering the world and it's just kind of assumed that since everyone inhabits the world, everyone kind of knows what's what. And the player is just kind of left to go along for the ride in a way that I think is uh, really interesting. Um, I, I, it's, it's a game that kind of sells itself in the school days plot. Uh, and quickly abandons it for something way more uh, nuanced in the sorceress and the sorceress knights and the battle of all these various uh, competing interests. This is an army facility for turning wildlife into weapons. Oh, these aren't cyber monsters, are they? We'll have to be sure and tell them if we see any. Okay, um, fences deactivate automatically. Okay, so I have to beat all the enemies to get the thing to drop. Got it. That's pretty straightforward. Let's Libra this guy. He is weak to fire. Um, but yeah, the, like that game to me was the one in which the characters were the most fleshed out because they are it so focuses on the interactions of these characters more than the world that you inhabit uh, be it Squall and hit all of his problems or Renoa and the worlds that she's torn between and how those two relate to Laguna and his story and the misconnections and the possibilities of connections that never actually panned out that I think is what 8 often is about. Like, it's about regrets and memories and making do with this fallen apart idea of what your past or future could be. Um, and coming to terms with what actually is. Like, it's very much a game about, like, the expectations we have and how we manage them when it relates to other people. And that's a thing that I, has just always spoken to me. Uh, I'm planning to revisit it for our RPG club at some point, as I plan to do most of the important Final Fantasies, or the main story ones, I guess. But uh, I hope that it's as good as I remember. Uh, that game was really special to me in a very like deep time in my life. Uh, and I just I hope that it can live up to that. I don't know if that's a realistic expectation, because you never feel anything with the passion you did when you encountered it for the first time at 14 that kind of blows your mind. I Expecting that is maybe ridiculous, but there it is. Oh, kill that guy. Um, does poison go away? I, I'm sure it does, but let's check. Yes, it does. Good, good. I don't... can I sneak up on there? I bet I can't. I bet there's like these other dogs and they're just not sneak up on a bull. Oh, never mind. Awesome. They've already... Damn it. 
Yeah, that didn't go as well as it could have. Maybe we should try something else. I've got your back. Yeah, I can use the cures. Thank you. Would this work better, light? Stop calling him light. I don't like light as a diminutive for lightning. I think it's terrible. But really, my enduring memory of 8 is playing Triple Triad. I'm not even gonna lie, I really like Triple Triad, as I don't think Final Fantasy ever got a weird side game as good as that. Whether it's Sphere Breaker, or Blitzball, or Quadra Card? I don't even remember what the game in 9 is. It's dumb. It's not as good. Uh, a lot of fun is for Triple Triad. Uh, I think it was just the simplest, and it, it, the way that it was incorporated into like the world was really interesting. Like and eight's not without its drawbacks. Like I said, the the magic system and the way uh, stats work is super fiddly and not at all intuitive. It's like a game built to use guides with, and I don't think that's a good thing. But it's definitely a game that's you know you sell you gotta sell those guides, right? And uh, its reliance on summons and how powerful they are is a terrible thing. Oh, I forgot to turn off Flux again. And now it's triggering because it's nighttime. Great. Sorry about that. This will sort itself in a moment. All of the frame rate. I really need to stop doing that. I just can't remember to shut it off before I record. Um, but yeah, the, the game, that game relies so heavily on its summons, and the animations are so long that they had to give you a mini game to play while the summons were triggering because to force you to lo look at those over and over again would be interminable. And I don't know how that kind of stuff will play as an adult or without a whole lot of free time, where, you know, playing a game like that uh, is a big commitment. Like, that's several weeks of all of my free time in the evenings. So... It's not a thing you can, I can just make as lightly as I used to. Ooh, slug guys. And we snuck up on them, that's great. I can do this. But we'll see. Maybe it'll be okay. I really like how this game has enemies that are the, like, unmodified versions. Like, before they turned into the weird bio creatures that we fight the rest of this game. I think that's a really cool thing to put in a game like this. And it's not... I mean, they explain it a little bit, but it's just like an accepted part of this world. Like, that's a nice touch. I don't think these creatures are particularly interesting to fight, which is a problem, but... Uh... You know, do what you can, I guess. That's that's kind of really my problem with, especially this part of the game. It's not teaching you anything new like it was back when we were doing the, the first bit of, oh, here's what happens when you need to use these special characters, these classes. Like, I don't feel like I'm learning any of that right now. But it's still giving me a bunch of battles that aren't all that interesting and they're clearly splitting us up for reasons, I just don't know what the reasons are anymore. That's it, Hope. I wish I did. Because I don't hate this game, but this stuff just Be feels like it's fight. just stalling. I, I just want to get to the next story bit. Like, I've seen the forest, these battles aren't anything new. It's not even, like, reinforcing, like, complicated concepts. God damn, I'm sad that I uh, triggered all those. Oh, there's a wolf guy, that's why. That makes sense. Get rid of the Lobo and then we'll heal and uh, we'll be on our way. But yeah, for a long time I said Final Fantasy VIII was my favorite Final Fantasy. I don't know if that's 
a thing I can say for like with any sort of confidence anymore just because it's been so long since I played it but I hope that that's still true I want it to be as good as my memories hold it as I just know that that's not a realistic expectation like I'm, I'm honest enough with myself for that at least It must be weak to fire. That's all hopes casting now. I don't remember if I levered these guys. I guess I must have. How about this, Light? I got you back. Maybe we should try something else. I guess we could do a cast, sure. Hey, these battles are not. No one's gonna write home about these. How about that? An item? No. Not even items along the path here. Caged in like the animals. Oh, is this a behemoth? Yeah. That's cool. Definitely gonna want to leave for him. Leak to water. Okay. Could probably synergize. We'll just do the protect. I think that'll be enough. I've got your back. How about this, Mike? Yeah, protect helps so much there. I guess if he's feral, he's not going to charge up the beam because a feral creature probably doesn't have like a percentage charge on a weapon, right? That makes sense to me. That hurt. We're almost staggered him though. That should be enough. Yeah, that'll help a lot. Does arrow do more damage when I'm in the air? I actually don't know how that works. Wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, launch is so cool. This guy is so dead. We've tripped the security alarm. The observation battalion will be coming. I think we can take him. Let him come. Thanks, Hope. No items, though. Still no items. But yeah, someday I really want to play 8 for our podcast and hope to God that it lives up at least a little bit to my memory of it. At the very least, it's the conversations about its romance will be interesting because it's a thing that... Uh, I think that it, what it does is really interesting, but it's clearly obvious why they never went back and tried it again. Let's just quake all these guys. Here's gonna do a number two. Yeah, they need to start dying, because I'm about to die. Oh no, I am dead. I am dead. Yeah. Damn. I'm sorry. I can't do this. That went poorly. Let's uh restart. Let's do Let's do one of those. Haste sounds great. Oh my god! There's so many enemies. Hey, 
Man, haste is great. When do I learn haste? Like, as a matter of, like, course as a character option. Just like I planned. That went really well. When in doubt, use one of those items. It's worth so many points, too. Oh yeah, we'll get to the next save point, which hopefully is soon. Take five. Phone going off. Sorry about that. What's eating you? Okay, I can tell you're hung up on something. Is it the Lissy thing? The Lissy thing, as if it's no big deal. It's snow, isn't it? What happened with him? He killed my mother. You wouldn't understand. You and I are partners, Hope. My mother was killed because of him. It's his fault. He needs to pay for it. I'm not ready yet, but I will be soon. That's why I followed you. Snow dragged us all into this. You and me, your sister Sarah. He's got to pay. Okay. Gotta well. be stronger. I'll take the lead. Uh, glad there were lightning again. That's good. Time to move. Oh, there's a save point down here, so that's great. You just have to face your fear. Items, items, no items. We'll uh, level up now. We have so many Crystarium points. Actually, we should work on her as a medic. We're not going to get very far, but... We're maxed out there. Let's get some more Synergist stuff. Additional accessory slot. That's cool. That we will use, for sure. Uh, we can equip that right now. Critical. Resist deprotect. Let's do a spark ring. Alright, we'll save. Is there anything new in terms of shops? Oh yeah, there's tons of stuff. Buy antidotes now. We have all these things we can barely afford. And then the garage sells stuff to upgrade weapons with. Actually, let's see if we have any more of those credit chips. Alright, nope. Doesn't look like it. Oh well. Alright, we'll uh, check the data log real fast since, you know, I want to keep doing that since we've been doing it. No rules, what's this? Right. 
nobody here because no one's expecting us because we're on the run. Day two. Snow is overjoyed. I don't remember this. Oh, she just is down on him being uh, in Nora because he sucks. I'm glad that she knew that all along. Well, that'll be the end of it uh, for today. Thanks for watching. Um, go check out Final Fantasy VIII, I guess. Uh, I'm never going to do a Let's Play of that, but it's a cool game. And uh, come back next time for more Final Fantasy XIII. Thank you very much.